the first law of motion, number one, is basically saying that everything will continue in its state of rest or uniform motion unless there's a force acting on it. So an example of that, uh, not very exciting, but here's the, the ball. Uh, it just sits there. The ball sits there because there's no forces acting on it. So number one, Newton's first law. So you have a ball. It just sits. Not very exciting. It has weight. And it has zero velocity because there are no, because there are no horizontal forces or because there's no net force upwards either. So R, what's going to be called the reaction force or the normal force. So R is the reaction force or the normal force. The, the weight we're going to call W. So some people, at, uh, when you've done physics, a lot of time you may have used N. I use R. If I try using N, then I'll mess up and I'll put R sometimes. So I'm just going to use R. So capital R is going to be the reaction force. So the reaction force is basically the force of the, of the paper pushing back up on the ball, the force of gravity is pulling the ball to the ground. So in this situation we have we would have uh, W is equal to R so we can say that um, R minus W is zero so there's no net force and therefore there's no therefore the velocity is zero. That's what Newton's first law is saying. If there are no forces acting on something, the velocity is either zero or constant. Now, in the real world, you don't, you know, it's actually, it's, it may not sound that amazing because we're, what, we're not used to. Um, we can handle V equals zero. Things just don't move because there are no forces acting on them. But V equals constant is different. So if something's moving at a constant speed and it will continue moving at a constant speed unless some force acts on it, we're not used to that situation because in our world we have, uh, we have friction. So if we push something, if I slide along here, I don't slide for very long because there's friction between me and the ground. So Newton realized that if you take away friction, things will just continue to move forever. If there was no friction and no air resistance and you push something, it would just carry on. In that situation, it's not at all, uh, it's not really intuitive. Um, if I throw the ball, people used to think when you throw things that they have some force that, takes, that they carry with them to make them move. But in actual